Hey guys, it's April. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through the process of how to make your civil rights timeline. Okay, so for things first things first, you're going to want to gather all of your materials. Uh, so this timeline is um, I'm hoping you'll do it on paper. Uh, so here I have uh, three pieces of computer paper and I have three pieces because I'm going to be using some Sharpie markers today and Sharpie markers tend to bleed through. So I want to make sure I'm not um, not having the ink go down on my desk. Uh, you're gonna need a ruler, you're gonna need uh, maybe some highlighters or markers if you wanna make it colorful, uh, a pencil for sure, and uh, maybe even a pen, okay? So once you've gathered all your materials, let's get timeline making. Uh, so first things first, uh, this timeline is gonna be a vertical timeline. And the reason is, is because we're gonna have kind of a lot to write, even though our, our years are gonna be much shorter than, than our books. Uh, so we're, we're gonna do a vertical timeline. Uh, so first things first, uh, take your piece of paper that you're going to um, write your timeline on, and you're gonna wanna fold it hot dog style, right? So you're gonna go uh, long edge to long edge. I'm just gonna rotate my paper here. Uh, so to do that, just line up your edges so that everything's even, and then just kind of crease your paper, okay? And the reason you wanna do that is so that you can identify kind of the middle of your of your paper and, and what will be the, the middle of your timeline, okay? So go ahead and put those uh, extra pieces back underneath it if you're using a Sharpie or really kind of any marker. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is draw your actual time line, the line portion of it. So take your ruler and find that crease edge in your paper, okay? And all you're gonna wanna do is uh, from the top of the page to the bottom of the page, you're gonna draw a straight line down. So I'm just gonna start at the top and I'm gonna go all the way down, okay? Boom, there is my awesome line. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take my ruler and find my inch markings, and I'm gonna line up the zero to the very top of the page. So there's my inch markings right there. So I'm gonna find my zero, and I'm gonna take it to the very top of the page, and then I'm gonna just make sure that I can see my whole timeline as I go down through my ruler. So uh, this timeline has intervals at every inch. So what that means is that I'm gonna need to make a mark on my timeline every, every inch. So I'm gonna start up at the very top at zero and I'm gonna make a little mark. Then I'm gonna go down to one inch, make a mark. I'm gonna go to two inches, make a mark. Three inches, make a mark. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I have marks that are one inch, every one inch down my entire timeline, right? I'm even gonna have a mark at the very bottom at inch 11, because our timeline is gonna go the whole length of our page. Okay, so now that I have my intervals marked, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna draw a short little line at every mark. And I'm just gonna freehand this, but if you wanted to use your ruler so you uh, were sure that your little lines were perfectly straight, you could absolutely do that. That is totally up to you. But all I'm doing now is I'm just making these little notch marks so I can more easily see where my, where my intervals are at, okay? So this timeline is gonna start in the year 1950 and it's gonna end in the year 2005, all the way down here, right? And I know that my intervals are every inch is gonna equal five years time. So that means I'm gonna start at 1950 here, and then every line down, I'm gonna add five years. So then this would be 1955, uh, this is 1960, 1965, 1970. And I'm gonna keep doing that till I get to the very bottom of, of my timeline. Uh, so if you were kind of nervous about this part, you could certainly start by using a pencil. So you could just pencil in your dates here, and then if it looked good and, and you knew that you were correct, then you could switch to a pen. Uh, so I've done this a couple times before, so I'm just gonna uh, start off at the top with my Sharpie marker. So now all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna write in the years. So I'm gonna start at the year 1950 at the top, right? That's where that's when our timeline begins. And then my next interval is plus five years, so then this would be 1955. This is 1960. This is 1965, 1970. 1975, and notice I'm not um, using a whole lot of space to write my years, because I know this timeline is gonna be really full. I wanna take less time for my years so I have more time to write. So I'm gonna write it kind of small. 1995 year 2000, and way down here is 2005. 
Okay, cool. So now I have uh, my timeline, I have my intervals, and I have my dates. Uh, the only thing that I need to add now is my title, my key, and my name. So I know that the civil rights era was really active uh, in between the 1950s and really kind of the, the 1980s. So this part of my timeline is probably gonna have a lot of information. So I'm gonna want to keep my title and, and that kind of information uh, probably down here towards the bottom. So to kind of balance my timeline out, I think I'm gonna put my title and my key uh, kind of right down here in this, this era, area. So I'm gonna come back in here with my Sharpie. And right, granted, I remember you got a, I got paper underneath here so I won't bleed through, or I will bleed through, but it won't ruin my desk. So I'm gonna put my title, I'm just gonna call this Civil Rights. All right, I like it, that looks good. And I'm gonna come in uh, and I'm going to include my key. So I'm gonna let my reader know what my interval is. So I'm gonna say one inch equals five, five years, okay? And now I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I write my name so that I know who this is. All right, there we go. Now I always like to add some type of little um, embellishment, so I'm just gonna do some dots and lines, like a dot and line border. Cause I'm just kinda crazy like that. All right, and then I also like to make it a little bit colorful. So I'm gonna come in here with a, just a highlighter. And I'm just gonna kinda add some color there. I'm gonna highlight this. Okay, that's it, easy as that. So now my timeline is totally ready to go. I have all of the elements that I need. I have my timeline, I have my uh, correctly spaced intervals, I have my dates, I have my title, I have my key, my interval, and I have my name. I'm good to go. All right guys, I hope this video helps. I'm looking forward to see what your timelines end up looking like.